the good times last. I am so behind on my spring shopping. I do this every year. Oh, I know. Pink is back in, and my closet is totally pink poor. Good thing the mall's open early on Saturdays. Yes! The mothership. Come on, we only have eight hours. What? Oh, right. Thanks. Oh. Security! <laughs> Tell the rent cops we said hi. <laughs> so, which way are you going? I've got to find those crystal encrusted flip flops. Hook up after lunch for manicures. Cool. Later. I'm home. <laughs> Okay, I know it's just a part-time summer job, but today, I feel like more of a man. Oh yeah, nothing says maturity like the phrase, do you want to gargantuize that, sir? You're missing the point. There's a big difference between working for minimum wage and begging your parents for allowance. Oh, forgive me if I can't see you taking responsibility for anything bigger than your locker combo. <laughs> It'll be worth it. See, with the chicks, it's all about the bling bling. And the way I figure it, we'll be making two large each by the end of summer. You learn everything you know from cop shows and music videos, don't you? You know it. You know, you're gonna have to find someone dumb enough to hire you first, right? Look at me. Do I look worried? Uh, not really, no. Hey! Too bad none of you can work at the penalty box with me, but they never hire first-timers. I swear, it was so worth it to work here this year. Now they'll hire me for sure. I thought you got that job to pay for the damage you did to the team van. Yeah, didn't you crash it into the equipment shed? Shut up! The point is, I won't ever have to wear this hideous lemon hat again. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna really miss making fun of you in it. Hey, it was the only job I could get. I was under 16, remember? Which is probably why you shouldn't have been driving the team bus. Ha ha. At least all of us will be working here together this summer. <laughs> Here comes my first customer on my last day. Can I help you? A lychee fruit smoothie with an energy blast and no pulp, please. We only have what's on the menu. Oh, uh, I guess I'll have a lemonade then. Do you take credit cards? For a dollar ninety? No. So that's what a fifty looks like. <laughs> Hey, do you know where Nice Cinnamon Buns is? Oh, it's just over there. Make sure you ask for one with a hole in it. They're like so much better. Thanks. Good one. Don't I know her from somewhere? She goes to our school. She didn't start until grade 10, though. <sighs> now there's a girl who'll never have to work. Ugh, I hate her already. Meow! Watch the claws, girls! She's so spoiled. She's like this only child, and both her parents are doctors or something. Why should she work when she's rich? I wouldn't. Speaking of not working, I can't believe you guys haven't put in your resumes yet. Stores started booking interviews last week. I know, I know. We made a pact that we'd all get jobs at the mall so we could hang out together. It's the only way I'll make it through this summer. What's the big deal? All you've got to do is smile. Look good, and remember, the customer is always right. Do you really believe that? No. Welcome to the khaki barn. Have a khaki day. Isn't this girl-sized boyfriend sweater the sweetest? Oh, I know! <laughs> Excuse me, your credit card's been declined. The strip's probably just worn out. Try it again. Maybe you've reached your limit. Credit cards have limits? What's happening? It's about time you got here. Don't you take anything seriously? Relax, Capitan. Check it out. I've got my resume done and everything. See? Ew, dude, what's that goo? Last night's dinner. That was a good hot dog. You guys had better get out there. You're not going to get an interview. 
Relax, Mom. We're on it. In case you haven't noticed, there's like 10,000 stores in this mall. Actually, there's 936. I counted one day when I was bored. Can't handle this on an empty stomach. Be back. Pronto. Fine, but don't cry to me if you get stuck somewhere lame like the taco stand for the next year. Uh, things you'll see me do after I stick a rusty fork in my eye. Hey, they make a mean taco. I'm just saying, the competition for the cool stores is tough. Everyone wants to work at them. Don't sweat it, step sis. Do not call me that. Our parents are not married, they're dating. Hello? <laughs> Sounds good, I'll be there. My interview's been bumped to 2.30. Anyone want to practice their answers? No. no. But Daddy, I needed that new Vespa to get around. The old one had a flat tire. Really? They can fix those? Excuse me, are you going to, like, buy these clothes or not? Hold on. I do so know where money comes from. The partner's at your firm. Well, I'm off to my interview. Wish me luck. Like you need it, you're going to kick butt. I know. So where's everyone going to start? Travel agencies. The Gigantoplex. Free movies. North Shore Surf and Skate. Definitely. Grind me. Excuse me? The coffee house? I like the clientele. They're civilized. <gasps> Do you think they'll interview us today? Probably. Why? I don't know, dude. What if I choke? It's a breeze. Just be polite and honest. Employers love that, okay? Polite and honest. Solid advice. I can handle that. Let's do this. Come on, Daddy. How am I supposed to pay off that bill? No, wait. Don't put those back. You want me to what? I have to get a job? <laughs> Fine, I can get a job. She's got one. How hard can it be? I'm good! So, tell me, why do you want to work here, Masterson? Because I've always wanted to start my own line of snowboarding gear, and I think working here would teach me so much about the retail sports industry. I spend most of my free time here anyway. I figure I might as well get paid for it. Because the Gigantoplex is a great place to pick up chicks. I need the money to go traveling. Do you guys have, like, an employee discount? So, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? Not working in a mall. I know where I'd like to see myself tonight. Rock climbing with some Maori dudes in New Zealand. I don't even know what I'm doing this weekend. Riding for my college snowboarding team and competing in the Olympics. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? <laughs> Is that the uniform you have to wear? That color really doesn't suit me. I'd be a Christmas tree. I guess I'd be <laughs> a maple. No, wait, a dandelion. I'd rethink the hat, too. I thought this was a skate shop. I'd be an oak, because they're strong, and they like to help others by providing shade from the sun. Sorry, this might be important. What was my biggest accomplishment? Getting to second base with Jill Anderson. Perfecting my mother's signature. I once ate 10 worms on a dare. Being the youngest girl to make the varsity soccer team. I'd have to say my accessories. My worst qualities. My feet sometimes smell cause I guess I don't have much patience for authority. The list is long and distinguished. When I was seven, I used to have this really heinous orange top. I don't have any. I'm a pretty great guy. Well, that sucked. Guess who's the new assistant customer coach at the penalty box? Congrats. At least one of us is employed. You mean none of you got jobs? That was not what I was expecting. How bad could it have been? It was just an interview. You know the time Jonesy pants me in front of the whole girls' soccer team? This was worse. We were applying for part-time jobs. That was like the Danish Inquisition. I think you mean Spanish Inquisition. Whatever, dude, it sucked. What are my worst qualities? <sighs> like they'd hire me if I told them. I told them mine. For real? How many did he give them? 17. Oh, man, was I supposed to lie? Guys, the right answer is sometimes I work a little too hard. Thanks. Information that would have been useful about two hours ago. What? <gasps> We're not doing anything wrong! 
Man, that guy creases me. Seriously, he's got nothing better to do than be suspicious of everyone under 30. For your information, we work here too! Technically, we don't yet, remember? I can't believe it. I'm gonna be stuck working here alone. Again! Oh man, we had our whole summer plan. Now we'll never be able to see each other. This is unbelievable. Did you see the guy running Stereo Shack? Even he has a job, and he carries a lightsaber to work. I can always play guitar on the subway for quarters. <laughs> oh, didn't have the new ruffle skirt in your size? It just so happens that I'm applying for a job and I didn't get hired at any either. <laughs> Guess all the positions for professional shoppers were filled. <laughs> You're so mean. We better try again before the only job left is the taco stand. Now I just have to find some loser to take my job. Hey, any of you guys want it? I'll hire you on the spot. No interview. <laughs> <laughs> we have some pride. <laughs> So, why are you applying for a job anyway? Oh, my dad freaked when he got his credit card bill, and now he's making me get a job. So I tried, like, everywhere, but no one would take me. I'm sure you'll find something. No, you don't understand. It was so humiliating. I can't even shop in those stores anymore. That bad, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was so nervous, I even knocked one manager's copy onto his lap. Ooh. <laughs> It'll be okay. You'll find a job. Food on sticks. Guys, I think I found the place I was born to work at. But what if I choke on this interview, too? Dude, stop being such a wuss and just stick to our strategy. You're selling yourself. Nothing wrong with a little embellishment. You mean lying. I mean making yourself sound good. They expect you to. And if you don't, you're just letting yourself down. Are you sure? Jen said the way to impress an interviewer is to be honest and polite. And how's that working for you so far? Right. You're the man. Be the job, Jude. Be the job. I am so proud of that kid. No. No. Ugh, no. <laughs> I know I'm gonna regret this. I could hire you to work at the Big Squeeze. No way! That's so awesome! Here's your uniform. You can change in here. Uh, no, I'm not wearing that. If you wanna work, here you are. But I'll look like the biggest loser in the mall! No offense. Perfect fit. Now we can start training. Oh, I wish I could, but I am so busy. I have to meet my friend in an hour for manicures. How are you going to pay for that manicure? Fine. Where do I start? Let's get a head start on the cleanup so we can leave early. I thought we made juice here. Can't we, like, pay someone to do this? <sighs> just, just a minute, I know. sir. That's what I said. But he was like, fine, just don't call me. And I was like, I so wasn't even going to? No, thanks, I'm good. Right! As if. He's so not my type. Hey! Hey, what's up? So, how'd it go, guys? Awesome. The dude made me the manager of Stick It. Get out! How did you do that? I told him I ran two shops already, and he just gave me the job. Jonesy's advice totally worked. What'd I say? Always trust the Jonesmeister. Dude! Jude. But you've never even worked in a store before. You're gonna be responsible for all that food and all those sticks? Whoa, I'm in trouble, bro. Uh, that's bra when you're addressing a girl, remember? What about you, Romeo? Get a job yet? Yeah, I got a great one at that 50s joint, the soda hop. So why the long face? I got fired 10 minutes later. Ugh, Jonesy. What? How was I supposed to know the hostess was the boss's daughter? On the bright side, that's probably some kind of record. Hey, yeah, you're right. I like her. At least you're not in charge of the country music section at Spin This Music. But you hate country music, dude. It's like your mortal enemy. They always stick the new guy in country. Some sort of rite of passage like hazing fraternity pledges. I'm sure it won't be long before something comes up in the normal music section. Thanks. I needed that. Did you get a job? Yes, but I don't want to talk about it. Your first job! Aren't you excited? I'm bursting with fruit flavor. This is great! We can all hang out together now. <gasps> Do 
Trisha! Over here! <laughs> Trish! Hello, it's me! Oh, no way. Isn't it a little early to be shopping for Halloween costumes? <laughs> no, silly! I got a job! Ew. Why? I'm gonna prove to Daddy that I can earn my own money. I already know how to make juice! <gasps> ah! Oops. Um, I don't think we should hang out anymore, Kate. What, what are you talking about? It's nothing personal, it's just that... You're wearing a lemon hat, Kate. And polyester. Sorry. I don't get it. She was my best friend for, like, a whole year. How could she do that to me? Some friend? What kind of person judges someone by their clothes anyway? Okay, but I never did it to a friend. We had so much in common. Like, shopping and chocolate. There are bigger friends to fry, my friend. Let her go. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I'm starving! Anyone want tacos? Yeah, I'm in. Welcome to Wonder Taco, where tacos are your hunger heroes. Can I take your order? I have an evil hunger brewing inside. Yes! What kind of food could possibly defeat it? A bird? A plane! No! no. It's Wonder Tacos! You know, I know you guys all make fun of me because I work here. What? Oh, no, no, no! We love Wonder Taco. Long live Wonder Taco. Two tacos coming right up. In the name of all that is true, hurry, my good woman! There you go, guys. Enjoy. It would suck to work there, but man, they make a good taco. I thought we agreed no more calls. Fine, I'll tell them to call back. <gasps> That's it! I'm so done with you! You have got to be the most irresponsible, clumsy, spoiled girl I've ever met! This grapefruit has more sense of responsibility than you! At least it knows it's supposed to get squished today! I knew I should have hired that weird goth chick! Masterson! Coach, what are you doing here? Quiet on the field! I heard your little temper tantrum. Very disappointing. I thought you were penalty box material. But maybe I was wrong about you. No, you weren't. Jen is the most patient person I have ever met. I have been screwing up royally all day, and she's been nothing but nice to me, even when I spilled grape juice on her shoes, which were actually kind of cute. Jen's right. I am irresponsible, but she's helping me become more like her. You'd be lucky to have her. Ah. All right, you've got yourself another chance, but you'd better fly straight. Got it? Sir, yes, sir. Where did that come from? I don't know. I just didn't want you to lose your job over me. That was pretty decent of you. You are going to keep her at the squeeze, aren't you? Duh. You're still giving me the job? I thought I was so fired. Yeah, well, I don't think the hat would fit over that goth chick's hair. And you're not so bad. Welcome to the hood. So, what are you up to tonight? No! Off, Jonesy, bad boy. All right, all right. Oh, the hat is so bad. At least it'll only be for a while until I pay back my dad. How much did you blow in his cart exactly? Um, whatever two Vespas cost, and half a new spring wardrobe, and two pairs of shoes. Oh, and a bag. <laughs> Get used to the hat, Juice Girl. You're gonna be here for a while. Ugh, gotta go. They want me to start training today. By the way, I can't believe you actually eat at Wonder Taco. You know that girl horks in the food. What, you mean in everyone's food? No, only to the people she doesn't like. <laughs> Where are you working, anyway? Mm. Can't bear to say it out loud yet. Ugh, it's too horrible. Oh, I have to see this. Totally. Come on. What are we doing? You'll see.
Traveling money, traveling money, traveling money, traveling money. Welcome to the Khaki Barn team! Welcome, Welcome to the Khaki, to the khaki Barn, barn team! team. <laughs> no way! I don't believe it. Welcome, Welcome to the Khaki, khaki barn, barn team! This is going to be a long summer. <laughs> <laughs>